We got our hands on the new base model 13 inch MacBook Pro, and we wanted to see whether the single fan design on this new MacBook Pro is a problem for the thermal condition and the processing power, or if it's able to take the heat. Now the previous generation 2018 MacBook Pro with the i9 processor launched with a bug that slowed down the processor lower than its rate speed and not recover until the computer was under much less processing load. Now Apple quickly resolved this issue roughly a week later and sent out a formal apology, but even with the patch, any given MacBook Pro enclosure since 2016 is still very tight from a thermal standpoint. The thermal design point, or TDP, is defined by Intel as the average power the processor dissipates when operating at a base frequency with all cores active under a high complexity workload. That's essentially a way of saying it advises how hot a processor can get when running at its rated speed. Now when a processor is cool, it's capable of exceeding its rated clock speed to the turbo boost speeds Apple and Intel advertise. So today's test is to see what that equilibrium speed under load is and to see if the machine dips under the rated speed of 1.4 gigahertz, just as we did with the 2018 MacBook Pro and the 2019 refresh. So like the 2017 MacBook Pro with function keys, the 2019 refresh of the 13-inch MacBook Pro has a single cooling fan. The processors on these new base model $1,299 MacBook Pro have a 15-watt TDP versus the 28-watt on the now mid-tier 13-inch MacBook Pro with four Thunderbolt 3 ports that retails for $1,799. Now for our test, we powered up Cinebench R20 and ran this comprehensive benchmark 10 times back to back. Now this keeps the processor running so that it's constantly under heavy load pushing its thermal performance. Now to monitor the clock speed and the frequency of the chipset, we're using Intel's Power Gadget. Now before running any heavy intensive applications, we did notice that our clock speed hovered around 1.3 GHz, which is normal. If the base model 13-inch MacBook Pro were to throttle under load, we'd see the temperature remain high and the speed dip below the advertised 1.4 GHz frequency. Now after our 10th run, we saw that the speed quickly hit that turbo boost frequency of 3.9 gigahertz, then slowed down before it hit 100 degrees. Now instead of going back to 1.4 gigahertz though, we noticed that it maintained a speed between 2.6 gigahertz to 2.7 gigahertz. Now this is notably higher than the rated clock speed and consistent with Windows machines using the same processor. Now after running our test repeatedly, we averaged a score of 1583, which is a little bit less than the 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.4 gigahertz its i5 processor that earned a CPU score of 1779. So Apple's new base model 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar doesn't dip below its advertised 1.4 GHz frequency even under heavy load. Now what we notice is that the average clock speed hovers around 2.7 GHz throughout our testing. And there you have it, Apple's new 2019 base model 13-inch MacBook Pro does not thermal throttle whatsoever. Make sure to stick around for our full review, which is coming later this week on our YouTube channel and on AppleInsider.com. I'm Mark Linsangen, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.